Hello there and welcome back to Donkey Kong Country. In the last video, we finished the third world and started on the fourth, which for me right now means I get to replay Snow Barrel Blast. So, see you in a bit. Generally speaking, what you want to do in this level is just go forward as soon as you can. As soon as the barrels line up, shoot. That'll usually work pretty well with the Zinger timing. Oh! Uh, here's a thing. I completely forgot this existed. Shortcut through the area. Yeah, uh, it's obviously that's not the missing bonus, but that is a thing. Oh, I forgot that you can pick up, uh, the keg you're rolling on by just pressing B. By the way, to get that last bonus, and I had to look it up because I really didn't remember, you shoot straight down here. And it's right here. There's absolutely no way to know about that. You just kind of have to brute force your way, as far as I know. All right, let's go. Slip slide ride. Uh, yeah. I like this is the level. I think it is, isn't it? And yeah, I actually like this level a lot. Uh, I really like the crystal pattern. This isn't the only level to look like this, but it's one of my favorite themes in the game, by the way. Secret, right here at the beginning. Let's see if I can get this one right this time instead of spelling KUNG! I still, I still tried to spell KUNG. Usually what you want to do, or actually it was CON last time I realized. What you want to do is watch for the letter you used previously. Uh, and then basically jump as soon as you see that. Because they switch pretty quickly, and then by the time you get to it, it will have switched to the one you want. Ah, oh, army. Ah, oh, uh, I, I guess I should explain, huh? The blue ropes will bring you up automatically, and if you hold down, you will slowly go down. The orange, the purple ropes bring you down. If you hold up, you will stay in place. They are not symmetrical in that way. It's really kind of weird. Uh, I need this for the secret right here. Nintendo. Don't worry if you, like, touch one of the other letters on the way down. It's specifically on the way up that it counts. Uh, it works pretty well. You, you very rarely uh, get screwed over. I was expecting to do, like, rare as well, but that's just a different one, I guess. Oh, I love this game. I say that a lot. It's true, and it's very uh, sort of comforting for me to be playing this, even if uh, replaying that last level was a little annoying. Oh, shit, I just misjudged that. That looked really weird. It looked like it threw me downward. Uh, you can go between like that. I think I remember where the last secret is. By the way, you can't switch uh, between Diddy and DK if you're not on a flat surface. So like right here, we can't switch until we line up like that, I guess. It's a little weird, okay? It's not necessarily like super clear when you can and can't, I guess. I thought I understood it, but clearly I do not. Uh, and like I said before, there is only Oh, shit. There is only uh, two levels in the entire game where you have more than two bonuses. More than three bonuses, sorry. I believe this is where the other secret is. No, it's just for the O. But you can get an on guard token by dropping on that, I believe. Uh, not necessary, obviously. Yeah, this is where the bonus is. Well, shit. Oh, there was nothing. No, I could have gone down. I always forget that you can go down on the blue ones. So you can't go up on the purple ones. Uh, I assume they were just kind of programmed independently. And so it's just kind of an oversight that they don't function the same way. When you try to fight the direction. Shit. 
Uh, it's pretty precise, jumping on the ropes here. But I'm trying to think what I've been doing since I last recorded. Uh, playing Pikmin, mostly. I'm nearing the end of my Pikmin 2 Let's Play. Let's Play. God, get ahead of myself there. Uh, I'm nearing the end of my Pikmin 2 Replay. Oh, it's very hard to get up there without losing a Kong. Uh, I say that, I'm on the last area, which of course, the last area is huge. Uh, I'm, I'm in the third to last cave, the Cavern of Chaos. And the last three caves are quite large. Ugh. Oh, that was pretty good dodge there. You need a barrel to get to sneak through there. Ah, oh, god damn it! Nothing to the left. Ah! Screwing up all the time in here. But I'm impatient to get to Pikmin three, as I think I might have mentioned before. Uh, I love Pikmin two, but it's so much longer than one and three. And that's not really a bad thing. It's just. Specifically when I'm trying to play through the entire series, it's sort of a barrier to doing that. By the way, the reason I have about 30 lives is because I went to jungle hijinks and grinded for a bit. Ground, however you want to say it. Oh shit. I realized I forgot to look at the timer uh, when I... Oh, that was a little weird when I like started the episode proper. So this video might be a little long or a little short. I'm gonna estimate that I was at 14 minutes, 13 minutes with the switch over. So let's just go with that. Oh, it is nice. I didn't actually miss anything. Uh -huh. Uh, oh shit, yeah, just trying to hit the lower one. Oh, this game is getting pretty difficult, uh, and that's going to complicate these videos, because I still want to make a good amount of progress. Ideally, I'd like to do most of this uh, world in this video, uh, and I, I really want to finish this series in like six parts, so mm, I might... <sighs> I don't know if I want to do pra I don't know if I want to practice. Feels like it's kind of nice to see uh, me screwing up, since like that's just a common thing. Most people are gonna have some trouble with this game, as it is quite difficult. Uh, and while I have a lot of experience, not a lot recently. Uh, but, like, since I do know the game fairly well, it's not like it's actually a representation of a blind series. This can be a little annoying. I recommend not holding the run button. That way you have more room to press uh, B. Uh, and you can jump to climb the rope. Because you can't hold up to do it. And I don't know why this is here, because it doesn't lead to anything. There we go. That level was a bit more painful than it should have been. By the way, there's a shadow on the, like, wall there. Right here. That looks like uh, Majora's Mask. Just a thing that I've always noticed since I played this game after Majora's Mask, I think. Ice Age Alley. That was a mini Neki. Uh, I, if this is the level I think it is. Yeah. There's an espresso box right back here, and he's necessary for two of the bonuses in the level. Uh, or at least for one of them. I think the other one he's not necessary for, but he makes it easier. Or I thought he did. Maybe he actually makes it harder. Because it's right up there. Well, now we can't get the second bonus or the first bonus. Nice! Doing so well right now. Uh, but I've been talking to my girlfriend a lot about Pikmin, because she's been playing Pikmin 2 as well as the Pikmin 4 demo last couple days. Because uh, I watched her play through Pikmin 1, 
and now she's on to two. And she and I played through three deluxe like a couple years ago now. Uh, I love well, the, the multiplayer three deluxe, the full co-op in the story mode. Still the only Pikmin game to be like that, and it seems like Pikmin 4 is not going to have true co-op either, which is a bummer. But I'm hoping, given the reference in the eShop description to the main campaign, that's where the other bonus is, by the way, uh, that there's going to be a co-op campaign. Damn. And of course, we got the checkpoint, right? So I can't get either of the first two bonuses. That's fine. I'll go back for them after, as I often do, since I usually miss some. But, uh... I'm hoping there's an entire co-op campaign, but I don't necessarily think that's likely. Uh, and probably main campaign is just referring to uh, Olimar's shipwreck tale, which is uh, a side mode. That's essentially a remake of uh, Pikmin 1, which is very cool, because that's a thing. Manky Kong? Ooh, almost didn't make that jump. Should have moved forward and jumped instead of trying to jump from a standstill. Yeah, uh, I believe there's just those two bonuses and they shouldn't be too hard to get to. But assuming that Token 4 doesn't have full co-op at launch, I hope that it will gain it. I'm actually gonna go get the first bonus without uh, Expresso because I think he actually makes it harder. Which I could just get off of him, but then I wouldn't be able to get him back, I don't think. Eh, I might as well try. Not exactly difficult to get him. Literally just head off to the left here. Also where the K is, so if you don't come over here, you won't get Kong. Which, again, it's just... Uh, uh, again, it's just for lives. It's not an actual, like... Ooh, completion thing. I don't really care to get all of these. Oh yeah, you do get another espresso. Yeah. So grabbing him at the beginning doesn't really serve a purpose. Ah oh, shit. Well, maybe I can get him. Nope. <laughs> that answered my question quite quickly. It wasn't technically a question. But I think it'd be really cool if they add a co-op mode or just add full co-op to the story later in an update uh, or as paid DLC. I would absolutely pay to get co-op. Although I'm sure some people would be annoyed by that because you're essentially paying for something that was in uh, 3 Deluxe. But it's a feature that was... <sighs> shit. But it's a feature that, aside from 3 Deluxe, has never been in the series. So I feel like it makes sense. Uh, and as long as it's reasonably priced, I, th I don't think it would be, like... I, I think it'd be entirely fair for it to be uh, paid DLC. Assuming, again, assuming that they had not just finished it and decided to charge later. Which I think Nintendo generally is better about that kind of thing than some other companies. The mini neckies are really easy to lose... Uh, espresso too. <laughs> Shit! I know usually you can just walk over them, but I do not trust it. Yeah, there we go. Well, it's also where the N is. It's weirdly hard to get Kong in this level. Uh, blue is a 3-up. Do you really want to go for that? Ah, too early. God damn it. Uh, for some reason, I expected it to be moving faster. I wonder if some of the other bonuses do, or if I'm just stupid. Yeah, I was pretty sure that was it, though. All right. P water level number three? Croctopus Chase. This is probably the hardest water level, if I remember correctly. That's a squidge. I'm trying to remember to mention the enemy names, because I do know all of them now, I think. Uh, the water levels have slightly different uh, color palettes. This is this whole level will have these guys chasing us, the Croctopuses. They'll get out, chase you, and then eventually they'll be in an alcove where they'll stop. Uh, oh, for him, that's that one. Shit. I forget. 
I love the sounds the squidges make. The little whoop, 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 whoop. I could just, I could just been quiet. And you would have heard that one. Uh, the croctopus don't generally chase you for very long in the level. Oh, I, ju I just had a feeling there was gonna be a uh, Chomps or a Chomps Junior. And yeah, technically, they're not called Chomps Senior. It's just Chomps. Chomps and Chomps Junior. Uh, senior is obviously a convenient way to distinguish. Uh, it's possible to, like, just pass by these barrels, I think. If you're very precise, but there's no need to. You're not supposed to. Uh, but I'm also really impatient to play Mission Mode in Pikmin 3 Deluxe. Because I played a bunch of it originally in the Wii U version. I played a bunch with my nephew, uh, who I've mentioned before. He's a year and a half younger than me. Uh, we made a video before, blah, blah, blah. Uh, I, I, uh, like I said, it'd be nice to make more videos with him, I think. Especially now that I know what I'm doing a little bit more. Emphasis on a little bit more. Ah, damn. Yeah, because up there is the... Yeah, the barrel cannons. I'm a little confused. There's a winky token. Okay, that's all that was. This is progress up this way. I just got uh, a little turned around, that's all. What is that from? Oh, it's uh, red versus blue. I just got a little turned around, that's all. That's what uh, Donut says when he starts heading the wrong direction to get to red base. In episode four, three, it's no, th it's it's two, three. Because it's not Red gets a delivery. It's the next episode. Yeah, I love Red versus Blue. By the way, I have not watched the most recent season, and I've heard not great things about it. And also just the fact that it doesn't have very many uh, uh, characters. Uh, from before that it doesn't have very many returning characters is a real bummer. Oh, I love On Guard. I do want to watch season 18 at some point, though. Uh, the series is officially still ongoing, but I don't think there's been anything major since season 18. Zero. Which was several years ago now at this point. If I am remembering correctly, there might be the G up that way now. Oh, lots of squidges. Eh, it's fine. We made it to the end. Okay, yeah, the rest of this world so far, the last two levels at least, have gone by relatively smoothly. Cranky's cabin, what you gotta say, Cranky? You big ape, I can hear you coming from miles away. Why isn't it snowy? I'm talking about when games were games. Oh, that's that again. Uh, yeah, this, this background doesn't change depending on the world. Yeah, that's not new, Cranky. I'll still stop by once every world, but games never looked like this when I was a lad. I mean, I feel like when you were a lad, there were no games. And we were much better off in those days as well. Yeah, sure, bro. Donkey Kong's a classic, but this is definitely better. Bet you thought this was 64-bit, eh, boy? Very pretty. I've got more gameplay in my little finger than you've got in this whole game. Hmm. In jungle hijinks, stick to the treetops, turn extra lives. That's yeah, not new. Come on, dude. I was told that if you bounce on eight consecutive baddies, you'll get an extra life. That's pretty good uh, information. That's all there is to it. Piece of cake, if you ask me. Okay. Anyway, moving on to Torchlight Trouble. Ooh, new animal buddy. Uh, and one that in earlier versions of the game uh, is quite blinding. In early versions of the game, uh, I believe prior to the cartridge that I specifically have, uh, the entire screen would flash white when he passes, like when the torch, the flashlight, passes directly behind and faces the camera. Uh, it doesn't happen in this version because this is based on a later uh, release of the cartridge where they changed that, because it is quite seizure-inducing. Maybe my copy does have it, actually, because I'm trying to think. I feel like I have seen that. This, by the way, is Squawks, 
He is the animal buddy I mentioned earlier that functions differently. That's really weird that we're already at the checkpoint. He just lights the way for you. You don't ride him, and there's nothing more to him being here. It's just a part of the level, really. And there's no way to avoid it, I fuck. I believe. It's fine. Ooh, these are called mincers, I believe. Uh, I'm remembering that because there's a level with them in the title. Ooh. Generally, if you see crushes, you want to switch to Donkey Kong. That way you can kill them if you need to. Right here, right? Yeah. I think these are the only bonuses in the level. In which case, I'm pretty happy. Uh, and if that's not the case, then I'm a little less happy. I want that. Gimme, gimme, gimme. Uh, each bunch, I think I mentioned, is worth more. Like, 32. That was worth 4. This should be worth 5 now, yeah. 6, it just counts up by 1 each time. 62, this should be 9, so 71. Yeah. Ah, oh, shit. Ah, oh, so close. I think there's just one more. Yeah. Is that all the bonuses? Yeah, it's going quite nicely now. Blitzing through. Any save point. Is, is she going to say something interesting? Nope. She usually doesn't. She doesn't have very many lines of dialogue. 62%. Not bad, not bad. I'm hoping to finish the series in six parts, like I said. So, uh, what would that be? Two-thirds so far with a little more than three? Hmm. No? Uh, actually, that's pretty good. Because if we get to 66% in this video... This is here. I, I just happened to notice that. I didn't remember that was there, but there's a bonus. Uh, but so yeah, if we get to 66% in this episode, then that's exactly on track for six parts. That's pretty cool. Uh, I don't necessarily care about Kong. Uh, it would have been... I think it would be... Oh, actually, it does. The game would... I was going to say it'd be cool if the GBA version tracks the Kong letters. It does. I completely forgot that it does, but it absolutely does. Uh, I believe that's only true for this game, though. I don't think the GBA versions of 2 or 3 do. That or that's backwards. I can check, because I have the copies physically. Uh, well, there's no other way to play them. They've never been re-released. Uh, legally. There's no other legal way to play them. Official, whatever. Uh... So I will check and I will put an update on screen. I don't remember. Uh, no. I was like, if I get Espresso, then I'll do the mini game, and I don't want to do that. We're almost at the end of the level. <laughs> but I'm doing much better about remembering the bonuses. Ooh, Winky is helpful for that. There we go. I believe that's it. Yeah! Nice. We've done this entire world in this video. Really naughty rampage. Yeah, so very naughty was the first one. I can never remember. And now we're on really naughty. He does more big jumps with each hit. So now it's two. And now it'll be three. And just go underneath. Uh, he's not really any harder than very naughty was. Yeah, really not. The bosses in this game, like I said, are not a highlight, except for the final one. Oh, I do really like the next one, I think. Yeah, yeah! Oh, shit! I'm actually kind of confused that we're at such low a percentage now, because I believe this is the last full world. No. There are two more worlds. Uh... There are six worlds total, I believe. Six full worlds. There's that first head that doesn't mean anything. Uh, and then the final boss is this everything. By the way, I haven't thought to mention this so far. I might... Uh, yeah. I'm going to screenshot earlier. As you complete worlds, the ship on the left side approaches. That is the final boss's ship. Uh, here's what it looked like in each of the previous worlds. But uh, I'm going to go save, as I always recommend doing. 
since if I didn't save and I got a game over in the next world, I'd have to replay an entire level and a boss. And I don't want to do that. So are we at 66% now? 65%. Suspicious. I'm pretty sure I haven't missed any bonuses. I admit I don't feel like checking, though. Yo, gorillas, go see old man Cranky. He can help you out. Only one of us is a gorilla, bruh. Diddy is not. But yeah, I guess might as well move on to Creme Croc. And yeah, this is the second to last world. Oil Drum Alley. This level is interesting. Uh, I think this might be the other level that has four bonuses. The one that has four. Uh, there's the one that has five. Yes, I was right. This is the one that has four. I think I remember where they all are, so I'm not gonna actually look up their locations. I just wanted to check. Uh, what you wanna do here? Just do that. There's a lot of things where I'm like, I'm trying to, ex I, I like start to explain it as if it's something complicated, and then it's really not. Usually if you go as far right as you can, you'll land in the barrel or at least be close. You kinda just get a feel for it. Uh, I believe the second secret is right up ahead. Oh, uh, maybe it's farther than I thought it was. I still want to carry this barrel just in case. Yeah. Is this the one I think it is? I think it is. This is the most ridiculous secret in the game. You need to complete this. And instead of a balloon, instead of a banana, it'll give you a barrel. Shit! I fucked it up. You have to jump. This one bonus looks different. It has an arrow on the right side that points forward. Uh, you cannot replay it, unfortunately. Uh, but you need to, like, what I did there was mostly correct. But you also need to jump so that you break the wall and go in it. It's the only bonus in the game that is hidden within another bonus. There we go. I'm fine with dying because now I get another try. It is crazy. Uh, so we already got the first bonus, and this is the second one, I believe. Uh, and yeah, I think you have to actually carry the DK barrel there. I don't... No, you might be able to get a barrel after. I wasn't really paying attention. S By the way, the enemies aren't fully consistent. Sometimes... They will walk off ledges and sometimes they'll just go back and forth. There aren't like color differences that to communicate that to you, uh, like in Mario. But yeah, so you wanna, no, oh. I was like, oh, if you throw it and then go, no. It's the breaking of the barrel that does it, which is why you have to already be on that door. Shit, it's fine. Let's just uh, progress forward and I'll come back for that. Not high enough, I guess. Uh, it's a tire. This is the most complex level for secrets in the game. I think this tire is just for... Uh, just for a Kong letter. But it might be more important than that. It helps you get the O at the very least. Now, yeah, that is all it is. Dude, this is a new feature. Oil barrels that are not just continuously on fire, but uh, go out periodically. Uh, the best thing to do with them is, I'm trying to remember the exact timing. Because basically they go out three times. Oh, these ones don't. Okay, timing's different on different ones. It's, uh, it's fine. There's uh, a barrel here that I can grab. Shit! No, I got it, just, oh yeah. Okay. Uh, I'm still missing one bonus. I think there's one right at the end. 
Uh, but basically, obviously, you want to time it to jump as early as possible without hitting the fire. And it can be a little tricky, but uh, the fire only damages you while it's all the way out. So while it's in the process of moving in or out, you can still jump on it safely. Glad I remembered that, because that's quite important. I think this wall is... Fuck. Oh! Yeah, that was just poorly handled. I feel like that wall is the secret, but it's probably not. I, I'm, I'm doing pretty well, but this level is a bit tricky. Uh, what was I talking about Pikmin? I got mostly all the way through my thoughts. Oh, shit. Ah, uh, yeah, yeah, if you if you look off a ledge, the DK and Diddy will do their own little animations. We'll try to show that. Yeah, there's Donkey Kong. And there's Diddy. They're very funny, I think. Uh, yeah, obviously that doesn't do that. Yeah, I don't think that's actually breakable. I don't know why it's a design on the floor. It looked like almost it looked almost like I jumped in midair. Okay, this is not a new bonus, but whatever. It's got a life, right? No, I think it had a winky token. Or some kind of token at least. Ugh. This level intimidates me, if you can't tell. But I also intend to replay Pikmin Adventure as a part of this replay and rewatch the Pikmin short movies. Pikmin Adventure is the mini game in Nintendo Land that I think is really fun. I, I actually highly recommend it. These ones go out three times and then burn continuously. You want to wait till they actually burn and then go. Ugh. Maybe they just go out twice and then burn on the third one. That might be what I'm thinking of. Yeah, there's the G. I swear... I know that's not all of them. I missed at least one. I think I missed two, though. Hmm. I'm gonna go ahead and get uh, the one I know I missed. See you there. Okay, here we are, here. Ah! Oh! Shit. It's tricky. I don't think it matters which of the two bananas you get. All right, I recommend waiting for them to drop down before doing it. Because yeah, what I think you should do is wait for the balloon and then hit the banana after. Just like that. I want to switch to Diddy because it's easier. And then I want to jump over to the right. Just like that. God damn. This is... Like I said, probably the most bullshit secret in the game. That's not what I said last time, but I do think that's true. It's, it's a little ridiculous. Just a little ridiculous. Oh, shit. It is, it's fine. It's just Donkey Kong and then Country. You just get, I think, four lives total because it, uh, it might be, it might be five lives. Now that we have, oh, you can just get the TNT barrel to get that right there. Uh, but do we have all of the secrets now? That's the question. I don't know. Let's see. Yeah, we do. I didn't realize that I got the other one. Trick, track, trek. This is a fun level. There's a couple levels that are similar to this. This one's not as annoying as a certain later one is. Uh, which I think is called Tanked Up Trouble. If I remember correctly? Uh, is this where there's a bonus? No. I think I'm thinking of that level too. Yeah, I think I'm just gonna... I know there's a level with this track where you drop down at one of the turns, where it goes straight up. And I think that is the next one. Either the next one instance of that in this level, or it's in the next level. I was going to say I won't try again, but uh, I, I, I actually am. No. 
but I think there is a bonus here right at the beginning of this one. I get confused between similar levels. No. I think I'm also thinking of the other one. Great. Doing great here. Uh, I do want to get to... Uh, obviously, I want to get to a checkpoint in this world, so... Not sure when that'll happen exactly. But... Yeah, Pikmin Adventure, I think, is really fun. Either single player, single player or multiplayer. Uh, and I love the Pikmin short movies. They're three short films. Uh, one very short, one medium length, and one, like, 15-minute one. Or maybe a little longer than that, even. It is, like, the majority of... I should stop trying. Because I am increasingly confident that it's just not this level. But... Uh, Pikmin Adventure is a cool level-based sort of thing, which used to be really weird for Pikmin, but then Hey Pikmin happened. Uh, and that is also on my to-play my to -play list. Uh, I never actually finished Hey Pikmin. And I know lots of people don't like it, I think. Well, I don't know for sure if that's true. I've heard a couple people complain about it. And I've even heard a couple people complain that it exists. Which annoys me, because I'm like... It wasn't made by Nintendo. It in no way impeded the development of Pikmin 4. In fact, maybe if it sold better, uh, Nintendo would have made Pikmin 4 a priority sooner. Uh, but some people are very annoyed by just the fact that it exists. And I think that's just... stupid. Uh, it's just a little bonus thing, and yeah, you might not enjoy it, and that's fine. Uh, by the way, these have no damaging... Never mind. I thought they didn't have a damaging hitbox. I don't think they do. I think I just got hit by uh, one of their one of the nuts. Oh uh, yeah, bananas. That's this whole one. Bananas. You don't get anything special for getting all the bananas or anything. You just bananas. <laughs> okay. Now, are there more than? I was just saying there's more than one secret. I thought that was the end of the level. I think it's because Winky's walkway which I think is the only level we've done so far with this theme, is really short. You cannot switch Kongs on uh, the platform, by the way. That might be what I was thinking of earlier with the ledges, because that is concrete and not, uh, and is entirely consistent. God damn it. Yeah, I wanted to get up here, because this is the second bonus. Ooh, purple one. It jumps when you jump. That's the only difference between this clap trap and a normal one. I realize, I don't think I've actually named them I don't think I mentioned that their name is Claptrap uh, while one is on screen. So yeah, this is a Claptrap. Uh, it's a fun name. Uh, and I, I mentioned before that the sequels, for the most part, don't have returning enemies. Uh, for instance, I think it's DKC2 has an enemy called a Crimp. Yeah. Crimp, I think, is two. And then Crampon is three? I think. Obviously, those are references to, like, crimping tools that pinch and a crampon. I don't know what that is, but I think it's a thing. I think they're both sort of puns on the snapping mouth motion. But I believe the mini neckies don't have a damaging hitbox. Uh, so if you're, like, too far over to get hit by a nut, then you'll just pass right through them. Ugh! Oh, yeah. I forget. When you're on the track, you really want to be DK. That way you don't have to worry about a uh, clump. But I don't really have a choice. Oh, I do. No. Yeah. I was going to say no because I can't switch. But if I die, then it'll switch me. So I guess technically that counts. But I saw something up, up, up top. Uh... I'm trying to think what else is in my Pikmin to-do list that's interesting. Because, yeah, I need to do Hey Pikmin. Uh, I like it well enough so far. I don't I don't have a strong opinion. Uh, it seems all right. Pikmin Adventure I really like. Uh, it's surprisingly long. It's like 40 levels. He doesn't ever come down. He just sticks up there. I think it's like an oversight. Uh, I would assume he's supposed to get on the platform like all of the other enemies you see hanging out above. Uh, 
And I think he does in the GBA version. I would say I check that, but that's a lot more difficult to check. So just take my word for it or don't. Take my confidence as a grain of salt. My lack of confidence, rather. Ooh, crush a... I don't just stay on the left side here and he'll fall off. I almost still got hit there because I wasn't far enough to the left, but yeah. Don't think there's secret. There is. Yeah, there is right there. Shit. Oh, and we're about out of time now. I will come back for that in the next episode. We're going to go and move forward for now. I know where that is. It's just right there at the end. And I just missed Seeker at the beginning. I'm doing great. I'm doing great right now. So good. Ah, oh, it's fine. Oh, this level, though. Ooh, this is a memorable level, and that's a bad sign. <laughs> uh, when I suddenly get to a level that I remember really well, that's scary, because it means I've done it a lot. And I have, and this one's got a couple annoying secrets, but... Uh, if I don't easily find this, the bonuses in this level, I'm just going to save and that'll be the end of the episode. And I'll come back for it in the next one. Yeah, at the very beginning, there's this one right here. Uh, first, I thought you got an animal buddy here, but I guess not. Can I finally do it? Nope. Nope. Let me look at my Pikmin to-do list, because I feel like there's something else that's interesting to mention. I feel like I'm missing something. Uh, finish the Switch version of Pikmin 2, do the challenge mode in Pikmin 2. I guess that might be what I was thinking of. Uh, challenge mode in Pikmin 2 is interesting. It's essentially like mission mode in 3 before mission mode. Uh, it's a little bit more basic. It's basically just more caves with some additional rules. Uh, it's pretty cool. I haven't played a lot of it. I need to. Uh, there's a lot of levels. There's 30 levels. Uh, which is the same number of mission mode levels. Oh, shit! Including the DLC ones. No, I thought there was a thing there. I'm gonna miss a secret here, and that's fine. Yeah, then Pikmin Adventures next, and the Pikmin Short Movies. It's more or less in release order, but the short movies came out after 3, but they don't reference anything in 3. They were made with just 1 and 2 in mind. That's why I'm going to watch those before. And I actually have on my list to watch both short movies 3D and HD. Uh, short movies 3D is exclusive to the 3DS. Uh, they were both uh, made available for purchase. I feel like there might be a secret straight up that way. They were both made available for purchase on the 3DS as a 3D version and the Wii U as an HD version. Uh, and then later, the HD version was uploaded to YouTube. Uh, it doesn't have the bonus features of the actual app, but it does have... I want that. But it does have uh, the shorts themselves. That's, that's pretty cool that it's just available for free now. But because of that, I think they actually delisted both of them from the eShop. And of course, now the eShop's dead, so yeah, here's the secret. Or it's just bananas. Shit. Oh, this is messy all of a sudden. I was doing so well for so long. Uh, and now I'm struggling. It's almost like this ep It's almost like this level is harder than the ones I was doing before. Uh, but... After the short movies, this, yeah, Olimar's Assignment, which is a side story added in 3 Deluxe. I'm going to play that before 3 Deluxe because it does take place before. Uh, and then Olimar's Comeback, which is the other side story, takes place after shit, 3. Uh, and then Mission Mode, which I have, like I said earlier, I played a bunch in the original version. Uh but I haven't played that much in Deluxe. I don't even have, like, the last five of each category unlocked. Ooh. Ah! I don't always react as quickly as I wish I did here. I 
think there's a secret right there. Is there a thing right here? No. I'm just gonna try to get through because I just want to finish. Uh, I don't have like a lot of time here before I need to go to class today, so I'm just gonna kind of blitz through now. Which of course means I'll probably make more mistakes. But so be it. Wow, that looks kind of weird. The elevators can be a little annoying. Uh, they're always in the same pattern. But I swear the timing feels like it's different sometimes. Oh, mini necky, get in my way. This one, I recommend being Diddy for this one. Uh, or is this not the one I'm thinking of? It is, because there's no platform in the middle there, so you need to roll across. And since Diddy's easier, easier to make those jumps. Actually, there might have been a platform in the first one. It might be the second one that doesn't have it. This, ah, I might as well get this because it's right here. Uh, there's definitely one bonus I missed, but that's just fine. Uh, I honestly don't care to right now. I will get it in the next episode. Yeah. Uh, I was like, it'd be really annoying if you can see the save point right there, but then you don't get it. But yeah, so in the next episode, I will get the secrets in both the previous two levels. Got anything worth saving? Yes, I do. Am I at 72% now? Ooh, 76. Sick. Well, I will see you guys in the next video. Thanks for watching. Also, I realized that like, I didn't finish my thought. The next thing after mission mode in my to-do list is Hey Pikmin. And then after that, I'll be raring to go to play Pikmin 4. Just wanted to say that real quick.